Welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show as the Mustangs, fresh off their homecoming win over Albright, 48-3, make the trip to Philadelphia in the main line for the first time in school history as they take on the Eastern Eagles. I'm James Wagner, joined by Ed Hoddle. And Ed, homecoming, beautiful weather, great outcome. Uh, your thoughts on the game against Albright? It's a great day. Um, played well in all three phases. Um, we were able to stay healthy, which is huge. Um, just, you know, good, good overall day. You know, again, like I said, the weather was great. Fans were awesome. Families were awesome. Uh, just just a great day to be on campus. And I know that you talk about all facets of the game. You were excelling, especially the defense. You've got a defensive touchdown. Um, you know, you're able to run the ball really well. It seems like your offense is in sync. Um, having Nair back, he seemed to be, like, not missing a step. I mean, he made some deep throws. Um but I want to focus on the defense first. I mean, scoring a defensive touchdown is, is huge, and we set a school record for only allowing eight yards rushing. That's a lot, you know, and, and that's not it's a, not a lot, but it's not it's a, an amount you don't you give up. Eight yards is unheard of. Uh, but talk about your defense able to, to score some points and withhold Albright from only those eight yards. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's still very much a work in progress. I think we're starting to see um, – you know some of the results that we would have anticipated come a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, cha- we changed our scheme in the spring, um, so it was you know kind of new going into the, you know into the fall. Obviously, we had we installed it in the spring, but new coming into the fall as far as games are. Mm-hmm. Um, and guys are starting, I think, to get comfortable in the scheme, um, thinking less, reacting more to what they're seeing. Read, you know, doing a great job reading their keys, and um, you know, the defensive staff does an outstanding job. You know, adjusting throughout the game. Um, you know, we've talked about this before. You know, having having the sideline video. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, is is big. You know, I think it's big in, in from a lot of facets. I think you know, being able to adjust defensively is one of them. So, um, you know, really excited about where that group's going. You know, I think they get better every time we every time we play, and um, you know, hopefully that trend continues. Well, and offensively, like I said, Nyer made some big big passes. You know, he threw a couple of touchdowns, scored one on his own. Uh, it just seems to be the offensive thing. Talk about how the offense has developed all the way through to now. Like you're able to do now. You had. You have the run and the pass option. It, it, you know, whenever you have the opportunity to be multiple, um, it's it's huge. And having Nye back, having all that experience back from last year um, and years prior has is, is certainly been big for us. Um, you know, having a guy that, that's experienced back there is big, and certainly not to take any way, you know, anything away from Jordan or, or Landon. They did a great job. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but there is no substitute for that experience. So, um, you know, he brings a calmness. He brings a, you know, a, a confidence to the group. And, um, you know, you, you, you can't say offense without saying offensive line. Right. You know, those guys have done a remarkable job. Um, you know, you know, keeping him upright. You know, getting you know, creating alleys and lanes for the backs to run through, and um, you know that group continues to get better. And you know, we're excited about it. And special teams find Donnie Wade had a big day. He had been six for six and extra points, kicked a couple field goals, had some good punts, um, kickoffs. I think majority of them were touchbacks at that at that point. Um, just talk about how the special teams has developed. Um, you know, it's such an emphasis in what we do. You know, we spend a great deal of time um, throughout each week, and um, you know, Donnie's kind of coming into his own finding a little bit of confidence which certainly which certainly helps us um you know but you look at the number of starters that we have covering kicks and um you know are, are part of return packages etc you know everybody's really bought into the team's piece and you know again you know to to, to play meaningful games in november you, you got to be solid in all three phases and and our guys have bought into the team's piece and we're excited and let's turn to talk about Eastern. Obviously, this is the second year we play Eastern. They were a first-year program last year. Obviously, they had the JV year when Varsity came here last week of this season. And, and really, it was a dogfight. Winning overtime, mm-hmm. you know, winning in overtime. Now you're going up there for the first time. For those of you not familiar, Eastern's on the main line. Uh, they actually play at Valley Forge Military's old facility. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald played there years ago before he played at the University of Pittsburgh. So there's a lot of history there. Eastern has done a nice job with their facility, building it up. It's turf. It's got a nice stands. Um, what can we expect out of Eastern? Um, you know, they're a good football team. You look at uh, the, some of their previous results, you know, they're in a one-score game. Um, you know, with five minutes to go with Kings, you know, who's undefeated in the conference. They're in a one-score game um, with Leb Val, um, you know, with under five minutes to go. So, you know, you watch them and, you know, it's one of those things, you know, you think back to 2011, 2012, 2013 for us, you know, being in that, you know, where they are, Mm -hmm. you know, in your second year, starting to see promise, starting to see some success, um, you know they're a dangerous football team. They're you know they're a football team that's that's got some athletes. I think they're I think they're well coached. I think their schemes are good. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, I think they've they've got a lot of promise there, and and you know, I'm sure they're going to be fired up for homecoming, and um, you know, we're going to have our hands full. And of course, obviously, with some of the results from last week, Dalval beating FDU kind of puts you guys right back into the mix. Um, how do you keep the team focused one week at a time, not looking ahead to obviously FDU is coming to town next week. It's a game that you need. Kings is sitting there at the end. You have Misericordia, who's you know you're going to go up there. You're going to go to Wilkesbury back to back week. Going to earn the the special easy pass going to Wilkesbury back to back weeks. But um, how do you keep the team focused one game at a time going into this one? Well, it's 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 the the idea that that none is more important than the other. Um, you know, it, it, the way this league shakes out and the way it always has shaken out from my perspective is it, it doesn't matter who you play on Saturday. You have to you have to win. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be a contender, you, you've got to win. And, you know, I still get, you know, questions, you know, about the DelVal win. And, you know, it's, it's no bigger than the Albright win right, at this right. point. You know, they all count the same. So, um, you know, we've got work to do and, and it's got to be a focus literally, you know, one Saturday at a time, one series at a time, one play at a time. And it sounds very cliche, but mm-hmm. that's where your mind has to be. And, right. you know, the constant reminder um, for the guys that, that that's how it has to be handled. If you, if you catch yourself daydreaming, you're catching L real fast. Okay, well, good luck today, Coach. Thank you. Stevenson and Eastern next here on GoMaxSports.tv. We'll talk to you next week as the Mustangs come home for the final home game of the regular season. They take on FDU. Thank you for watching, and go Stangs.